All right, picking up from the last video, let's do some practice applications. This one says the average preschool teacher in California earns $36,000 per year with a standard deviation of $7,500. A new insurance program is made available for those teachers that are in the bottom 20% of the wage scale. Assuming earnings are normally distributed, what is the salary that the insurance program directors will use as the cutoff? So notice here, again, we're going from a Z to an X, right? We've been given our standard deviation, we've been given our mean, and we've been given our percentage. With this percentage, we can then derive the Z value and solve for X. Just going back to this formula here, right? Okay, so let's set this up first uh, graphically. Um, we want the bottom 20% of the data, so we want this uh, data down here, and there's going to be an X value that corresponds to that. We don't know what that is yet, but we do know that for our X um, values, that the mean is 36, the 36K here, okay? And then we also know that that mean will correspond to a Z value of zero, right? So the steps are going to be just like before, right? We're going to find the Z value for the known probability and then convert that Z value into X units. Okay? So we're going to find the Z value first that corresponds to this. Well, if we've got 20% in this tail, we know we're going to have a negative Z value, right? So we're starting from the right tail in our table. And that would mean that this area here is 80%. Um, leaving this as 20%, uh, just like what we did for this example here. So we actually have the z-score already from the prior example, so we can just plug that in, negative 0.84. Okay, so negative 0.84. Once we have that z-value, then we can convert it into an x-value. Okay, Going back to our formula, x is equal to the mean plus z times the standard deviation. So let's do that. Well, our x value will be equal to the mean. We know the mean is 36,000 okay, plus the z value, which we said is negative 0.84 times the standard deviation, which is 7,500. Okay. Now, if you do the calculations, you should get 0.84 negative times 7,500. So this should be 6,300. And it's negative. And then if you um, add that to 36,000, you're going to get 29,700. So this value here would be 29,700, okay? Easy enough. Let's move on to the next one. And for this one, it says in the construction of all new buildings in San Francisco, the height of an entry must be tall enough so that 99% of the population can pass through without ducking. Yet the distribution of height is normal with a mean of 69.2 inches and a standard deviation of 3.8 inches find the door height that is required. Well, again, we're going from Z to X, right? We've got our mean, we've got our standard deviation, we've been given the percentage um, that we're gonna work with to derive the Z, and with this information, we can get to that height uh, the entryway must be. So this is actually a real world problem. You know, you may not think about it much, but um, when they do construct buildings, they have to accommodate a large array of the population, but not everybody. So let's say that 99% of the population has to be able to get through the door without ducking. Let's now use this information to uh, graphically illustrate the problem. Well, we want 99% of our data below some point. So we're actually up here in this tail. So we don't know what this x value is here, okay? but we do know that up here in this tail, we should have only 1%, right? Because 99, so 0.01. So only 90, we should have 99% in this tail. Wouldn't that be the case that if this is, if x is height, 
then you would need you know greater and greater heights uh, until you reach this point where you're at such a high uh, height for the doorway that only one percent of people would fail to get through um, all right, so next thing we do is we plug in our uh, mean. So we know the mean, let's go back here, it says the mean is 69.2. So 69.2, we know that the Z value that corresponds to that is gonna be zero, right? And what we wanna do is find the Z value here, which is gonna be positive, right? Because we're above zero. Um, and so we want to find the Z value that corresponds to 99%, right? When we're dealing with a positive Z value, we always start from the left tail and we find this area here. So that'd be 99%. We go to our table. The closest we're going to get to uh, 99 is right here. Notice it's between these two, 0.9898 and 0.9901. Well, this is closer to 0.99 than this one is. So we'll use this one right here and that's a z-score of 2.33. So let's go back, we have 2.33. Now with that, we can use our formula, okay? Remember the formula here? Our x value will equal the mean plus the z times the standard deviation. So let's put our numbers in. So our x value will equal the mean, which we already know is 69.2 plus the z-score, which is positive 2.33 times the standard deviation, which we established at 3.8. Okay. And if you do that, let's see, we've got 2.33 times 3.8, that's 8.85. And we're going to add to that 69.2, and you should get uh, 78. 78. If we want to take it to the decimal place, it's about 78.1. So this value here would therefore be 78.1. That means that we would need to construct the building with a door height of 78.1 inches. If we did that, uh, then 99% of the population would be able to get through, leaving only 1% of the population that would have to duck to get in. Okay, that's where we'll finish up this chapter. Uh, I'm not going to include the material on the normal approximation for the binomial, so don't worry about that for this uh, semester, uh, but definitely focus your attention on um, the material covered up to this point. All right, if you have questions, let me know.